Hello, Chemistry 150 students. Today I'm going to work on problem chapter 3, 138. We'll be covering these topics in organic chemistry, and you are required to kind of know how to do this for problem 138. Now, with organic chemistry, that section will be covered in week 5. We're finishing up on week 4 here. So, to set you up, there's a really nice free program called MoleView which allows you to deal with multiple central atom species. So you may have remembered in molecular geometry in the courses before that you typically had single uh, central atom species. We're now going to be dealing with multi-electron or multi-central atom species. So there's some tutorials for MoleView, but you can just type it up in Google. It'll pop up. Click on MoleView. And when you first come to it, right off the bat, you'll see this huge molecule. Now we won't be dealing with this molecule, but it gives you some insight of the program itself. So there is a 2D to 3D rendering option. Now for viewing, you can have it completely in 3D and then do a search for what you want. You could have it completely in 2D, which is kind of the line formula, or you could have them stacked. I like them side by side. The other thing you'll notice is the black is for carbon, the red is for oxygen, the blue is for nitrogen, and typically hydrogen is white. We see that with the black background. Hydrogens are white, but in the white background, they gray it out. Just like in the black background, they gray out the carbon, which is usually black. And what's neat is in the 3D, you can move it around. If you guys remember from your molecular geometry, it says right here that this carbon right here has four bonds, one, two, three, four, because it likes having four bonds. So that's a tetrahedral arrangement. We'll get more into molecular geometry as the semester progresses. That's not really what this video is for. It's to show you for C5H12 how many possibilities there are. So I'm going to go ahead and just lasso this, delete it, and kind of clear it out to start where we're talking with alkanes. When we look at alkanes, the first thing is the simplest alkane is just one carbon, and that would be methane. Then the next would be ethane. Then the next would be three carbon, propane. And then the next would be butane. After butane, all the prefixes make sense. It's like the covalent binary compounds. Five penta, six hexa, 7 hepta, 8 octa, 9 nona, and deca, and so on. But with all the straight chain alkanes, the carbon skeleton is it's the backbone. And then every carbon needs four bonds, right? And if there's only one carbon, the other bonds have to be to hydrogen. So I'm going to click on hydrogen. I'm going to click on single bonds. And one, two, three, four. There's methane over here. Only three hydrogen because it's attached to one carbon. That's called primary. So it only needs three more bonds because it's attached to one. So same with this one. There's ethane. So now I have a primary and a primary here because they're attached to one carbon. So they already have one bond. They only need three hydrogens. The one in the middle is a secondary. Why secondary? It's attached to two carbons. So it only needs two more bonds, and those are hydrogens. There's your propane found in gas grills. So with your butanes, it's the same thing. Primary, primary. These are secondary, secondary. Okay, the secondaries only need two more bonds. Right, just like this secondary. And then the primaries need three, but if you look at the formulas for alkanes, it's CnH2n plus two. Why plus two? Every carbon has to have at least two hydrogens bound to it, but if it's a primary, right, if it has ends, it needs the two ends, so plus one plus two. So these carbons, they have to have two hydrogens bound to it, and then on the ends, they need one, two to get the four bonds. So all of these, right? It's CnH2n, so there's three carbon, 2n for the hydrogen for the formula, so that's 
2 times 3 is 3, 6, plus 2, 8. C3H8. So it's the same for butane. So the formula for alkanes, CnH2n plus 2, that's because the four carbons, for the hydrogens, you double the number of carbons, 2n. So 1, 2, 3, 4. What's 2 times 4? 8. So we see that there are 8 hydrogens. Plus 2, because the primaries need the additional 2. And that hydrogen, I pressed the button. And there you go. Those are the first four. But our homework problems covering C5H12, right? So we need to talk about C5H12. Well, how do we do that? Okay, we're, we'll do the same thing. We'll start with the straight chain. One, two, three, four, five. Straight chain is pentane. But all of these need what? They need to have four bonds. And we already talked about this. The secondary, why is the secondary? Two carbons attached. All the secondaries only need two bonds. So, one, two, one, two, one, two. Whoops, it keeps happening. Apologize. And now the primaries, they need those two. And that's why we get CN. The N represents the number of carbons. This is five carbons, so it's C5. H2N plus two. So for the hydrogens, you double the number of carbons. So 5 times 2 is 10, 5, 10, plus 2 on the end, because the primaries. And there's my, there's my pentane, C5H12. I can 3D it, and there we see it in 3D formation. It has a zigzag formation to get that tetrahedral arrangement that we talked about earlier. So that's, that's one of the structures. So what would be another structure? for C5H12. Well, I can't have one, two, three, four, five, because that would just be the pentane that I just drew. So I can't do that. So maybe I can just take one of the carbons and branch it to the side. And I can. It's still C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but it's no longer pentane because it's not five in a row. It's it's actually isopentane. Isopentane, the word iso or the prefix iso means uh, same. It has the same molecular formula, C5H12, but it has a different structure. So this isomer has the same C5H12 formula, but it's not pentane anymore. It's a different structure. It's called the constitutional isomer, a structural isomer. So what is isopentane? Isopentane is the common name. The IUPAC name is 1, 2, 3, 4. The longest chain is 4. That's butane. And on the 1, 2 second carbon, there's what's called a methyl group derived from methane. But now all of these need the hydrogens. They need four bonds. So I'm going to do single bonds. And we're going to see that all the primaries, right? What do the primaries need? They need three more. The secondary is going to need two more. Well, what's this? It's a tertiary. Why? Three carbons, so it only needs one more. So I'll start with the easy. One. This needs two. So these carbons have four bonds. So primary, need three more. This is where this program gets a little sticky. One, two, see, it's not. Ah, that's what I was doing last time. I had to redo this video because it keeps doing that. Uh, so. If I had a pencil, it'd be a little bit easier. Yay, it worked. <laughs> well, there is one structure for you, okay? So the one structure is showing it's still C5H12 because one, two, three, four, five. And it has 12 hydrogen, three on each primary, six, nine, two on the secondary, 10, 11, and one on the tertiary. 12. So both of these structures are C5H12. There is one other structure. Now, when I say there is another structure, 
a lot of people are going to think, well, what is that other structure? Well, I can't go straight across. If I go four across again, one, two, three, four, and I put one right there, what people don't realize is that this structure, this structure right here, is actually the same as, let me render this. Sometimes it has difficulties. If the, yeah, see, it has difficulties because there's more than two. Oh, whoa. Ah, that's a lot. That's a lot. I'll show this structure right here. So this is the one, two, three, four, two methyl, which is this structure. The only difference is, you know, I have to bring it down like that so we can't stay trapped. So one, two, three, four on the two. And the only difference between this structure and this structure is I took this structure and I flipped it 180. Ah, it worked. Yay. One, two, methyl. One, two, three, four, butane. One, two, three, four, two. So it's the same structure. I just flipped it 180. So this is not a different structure. So I've already exhausted structures that have five carbon in a row <clears throat> or four and one carbon off. Let's try three. One, two, three. Okay, if I go one, two, that's still this structure because my longest chain is one, two, three, four, and there's my two methyl. So I can't do that. I can't think that there's two off this second carbon because really this is the same structure as that. But what I can do, what I can do is do another single carbon off that. And what I've created here is one, two, three, four primaries and a quaternary carbon. This already has four bonds. If I want to name this, this is one, two, three. So the longest chain is propane. And then on the second carbon, there's one methyl, two methyl. So this is a two, two dimethyl propane. Now you don't have to name it. They just want you to kind of draw this. So I'm just showing you how to draw this. So now I can get my hydrogens. And these are all primary, so they're going to have three hydrogens. And when I, whoops, this program really likes to do that to me. Well, it's not to me, it's just the program. <laughs> so we go over here, we'll put a hydrogen over here, so hopefully it doesn't stick. Yay, it worked! So there you go. These are all C5H12s, and they all are isomers of each other. So we have pentane, which is a straight chain. We have two branched alkanes. This is a two methyl butane, and this is a two two dimethyl propane. And these are all the possible structures for a compound with the formula of C5H12. Yeah, I know that's a lot, but I just wanted to show it to you. Um, and when you play around with this program, there's also the line formula, which makes it a little easier. So like if I wanted to do this structure, I could just go one, two, three, one. Whoops, it's not letting me do that. Yeah, you don't need to do that. You don't need line formula. If you want it, you can play with it. One, two, three. That would be one, two, three, four. And then you can add a methyl right there, and that would be that structure. But anyways, I thought this would be useful to draw it out so you guys can see the possible structures and to introduce mole view if you have extra time, which I'm sure you don't, so that you can play around with it. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for tuning in.